Rob and welcome to Axel's Garage. What we got out here is our 89K5 and we try to once a week at least do a little maintenance to it. It's a new purchase. So once a week or once every two weeks we try to tackle one little aspect of what's going on with it just to, to update things that aren't working or, or might be broken or uh, just might need some attention because it is a 28 year old vehicle that we are given daily use now. So we have the tailgate, and the tailgate has a power uh, window in that tailgate that goes up and down into the tailgate. That window goes up and down via a switch on the dashboard or a key switch in the back of the tailgate. So the switch on the dashboard works fine. Window can go up, window can go down. The key switch in the tailgate itself does not work. Key goes in, turns, nothing. So that's a convenient feature to have, especially if you got stuff and your hands are loaded and you just you want to go over to the tailgate. You can't put that tailgate down unless you get that window all the way down. So we're going to address that issue. Another issue that developed over the couple weeks that we've owned the truck is that when you do lower that window into the tailgate from the switch on the dashboard, it kind of goes down and it gets a little cocked. Cocked? Can I say cocked? And I use the word cock when I'm referencing cocked. I think I can. So the window goes down and it sort of gets cocked. And it stops because the motor thinks that it's already reached its lowest point because it's kind of stuck in there. And then you have to get out of the truck, go around to the back, kind of straighten it out a little bit, and then lower it the rest of the way down. So we're going to try to figure out why that glass is in there so loose. The only way to access that is to get that glass down far enough where you could open up the tailgate open the tailgate all the way and there's a rear panel and this particular vehicle has a, a carpeted uh, tailgate so you gotta take that, that carpeted cover is screwed in by at least a dozen screws or so we're gonna take that carpet up, take the interior access panel off and we're gonna take a look inside there and see what's going on well after having to get a little creative using test lights a dead battery on a charger to give me 12 volt power over here because my jump pack that I usually use for 12 volt power of course is in one of the other vehicles it's not here right now uh, I was able to troubleshoot it down to I'm not getting any power to that key switch that key switch should have power coming in to the tailgate at all times so that you can go up to the vehicle when the vehicle's off put the key in the tailgate turn it and the window should go up and down so there's two harnesses going into the back of the tailgate. One of those harnesses has power only when the key is on and you press the switch one way or the other. It sends power through one wire, power through the other wire. That's what puts it up and down on the switch inside. That's working. We checked all the fuses and the breakers in the fuse panel itself. They're all good. But that other harness was just a dead harness. We weren't getting any power to it when the vehicle was off or on for that matter. But there should be power there when the vehicle's off. So what we did was we rigged up this trickle charger to the dead battery, to a jumper, to a ground, and with a test light, and we applied power to one side of the key switch. The, first we applied it to the, to the other side of the key switch, blew a fuse. So we replaced the fuse, applied power to the other side of the key switch, turned the key switch up and down, and it works. Um, it only worked for a second or two before we, we sucked whatever life was left out of this battery and the trickle charger wasn't enough to, to make it go up and down, but we did hear a click. We did get a little movement up and down, so we know that that's it. So we got a problem in the harness between here and wherever that harness goes. So that's going to be our next step is to chase that out. As far as the window mechanism goes, I'm going to move the camera and I'll show you a little bit what we found over there as well. So in the tailgate itself, with the window halfway out, we're able to see where the regulator arms come and meet the, the base of the window. Windows screwed in with some bolts, there's some grease on it like there should be. What we found was that we can wiggle the window an awful lot on the regulator. And what that is, those little wheels that are attached to the regulator arms that the window slides up and down on, they just worn out. So there's, there's a lot of slop in it, and that's what's causing that window to go up and down crooked. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to get them, if we're going to be able to find them, so I don't want to start taking anything apart at this point. You would think that the motor would be powerful enough to straighten the window out in its own guides and get it up, but just that little bit of, of, 
of twisting is stopping that motor from bringing it up. So we're going to see if we can source another motor as well. And then we'll take all this stuff out and see if we could rebuild it to the point where it's going to be reliable going so up. So as of right now, we really didn't accomplish a whole lot except for figuring out what's going on with it. Now, it's hitting the computer and trying to research and see if we can get the needed parts that we need to get that window to go up and down straight. We got to button everything back up. We got to replace any fuses that we blew. And then we can start tracing that wire from the tailgate, moving forward to wherever it connects. And hopefully we can figure out why that wire doesn't have power. If we can't figure it out, an easy switch, because that's an always hot circuit, an easy thing would be just to trace that wire as far forward as we can get it, clip it, and wire it directly to a battery positive somewhere. At least that will give you the option to go to the back window, turn the key, and raise and lower that window. The problem what we're having is raising the window all the way, not bringing it down where it gets twisted. So if you raise the window with the key from the back, you could very easily just you know, give it a little shake, get it the rest of the way back up, instead of having to get in and out from the front of the vehicle where the other switch is. So we're going to hit the books, research some parts, and when and if we locate something, we'll do another video on how we repaired the window motor and hopefully those regulator arms and those little slotted balls. But that's it today from Axel's Garage. We'll see you next time.